I'm in salad and I saw Chasing Amy in a hotel room in New Jersey, Trenton, New Jersey to be exact. It is directed by Kevin Smith and oh boy, I didn't know what this movie was when I first came into it. I only heard, oh, he's chasing Amy. Where did Amy go? Why, why does he have to chase Amy? Well, in this movie, we find out why he has to chase Amy. And let me tell you what the, the movie starts pretty greatly. If you haven't seen this, spoilers, obviously, but why haven't you seen this movie? That is my question to you. All right, this movie starts, starts off in a comic hall, like a convention hall full of comic books. And we're following the artists of Blunt Man Chronic. And we got Holden and Banky. Holden is the penciler. And then we got Banky, he's the inker. We got a debate pretty much right off the bat. The fan, the fan is like, oh, uh, are you the artist? No, I'm just the inker, says Banky. Oh, so you're the tracer? No, I add depth. And pretty much this debate, I agree with the inker. Inking is very important. You got the penciler, and then it's the job of the inker to interpret the penciler's job and to add like more depth and shading. And it pretty much looks great. I mean, I think inking is a very important job because I believe that the penciler is like, okay, well, here's some like manuscripts of here's what I have. And it's, it's really hard if, if you've ever tried to trace over someone's work exactly, plus add like details, add some like really cool flair to it, add some depth. It's hard. I mean, I have experience with somebody else trying to trace over my work and they didn't like get it perfect at all. The lines were shaky. You have to be like, oh, you, it's an artist. You have to have an artist's skill in order to be an inker. It's not as simple as just tracing. There's a lot that goes in inking. So anyway, I agree with Banky here. And I just gotta say, I do not like the fan. That's like, oh, you're just a just tracer. <laughs> but yeah, he gets in a fight with him and then kind of like brush it off. It's all right, it's all right. Uh, more fun stuff such as after they, they go home to the really cool apartment and I, I guess, I don't know if they have a sex room, which is pretty cool in this really cool like apartment-esque place. They got Blotman chronic posters and it's really cool. They have a blanket that is like themed, like those those dots on a comic book, and it's on top of the couch, and it has the blanket, and it's like, whoa, that was really cool. It's a really nice touch. I really like this set. They meet by they, I mean Holden meets Alyssa. And Alyssa is a lesbian, but only until they get uh, invited to a cool little place called the bar. How do they meet? Well, okay. They go to a panel. Uh, Banky gets in the debate with the, the panelist and he's like, all right, you guys can uh, come, come with, come hither, come hang out with Alyssa and I. It took me a second to remember her name. Her name is not Amy. Her name is Alyssa. They go to this bar and they don't really figure out that she's gay until she starts kissing a girl after singing this really cool song. And I'm like, whoa, I like the song. But like the lyrics are about like, oh, I want to be with you, but I can't. Something sentiment like that. It's not like the most romantic song, but like, it's still really heartfelt. I, I liked the scene. I felt that heartbreak when like, Holden was really holding out for this chick. Ah, funny joke. All right, she was holding out. Uh, he was holding out for her until bam, lesbian kisses. And I'm like, woo, spicy, but also, wow, that's devastating. How will Holden get the girl? Well, they talk, they have a lot of talking and I really like the talking, I like the chemistry built. And they start off as friends, but they hang out a lot more. You got 
Holden is again holding out for her, <laughs> skipping meetings in order to hang out with her, and leaving Banky all alone. I guess he's holding the bag, aka he's holding the bank. Ah, I'm on my pun game. Anyway, I really like the part where they're just hanging out, hanging out some more, and then they're in a car. A car? Yes, a car. Why are they in this car? Well, they're driving that from a, a it's a date. It's essentially a date. Uh, but she buys this painting for $50. That is a steal. That's a great price on a painting. It has like seagulls on it. It's at the dock, if I remember correctly. And she's like, you can have this painting, Holden. And he's like, slams the brake on the car. <laughs> I like this part a lot. He's like, I love you. I don't care what the out outcome is. I have outcome independence. I don't care. And she just leaves. I'm like, no, what are you doing? Just say something. I wanted her to just like say something the entire time. She just like sat there, let a monologuing. And she's just like, no, this, this goes against my very lifestyle. No. And I'm like, just take the chance. Just take it. It's it's fine. She leaves. He's sad. He goes back to the car and then she comes back and kisses him. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. They have a nice loving relationship in which involves uh, sleeping on Banky's couch, which is kind of a not, not a good move on Holden's part, but this creates a lot of tension. Man, Banky's such a hater. He's like, she's a lesbian. She a, are you sure this is real? Is she just like tagging you along? Of course, Holden's like, yo, it, this is love. And I agree with Holden. I also understand Banky's sentiments because, you know, I haven't been in relationships where people have tried to use me but at the same time, I've only been in a very few select relationships because I'm autistic and I only choose certain people to be with. It like has to be right. It really has to be right. And so I don't really have the experience that Alyssa has being with a lot of people, especially during high school. I'm more closer to Holden's side because he's been holding out. Ah, my, oh man, so many puns. All right, perfect name for puns, by the way. I look, after I watched this movie, I was just the, thinking of all the holding puns I can think of. All right, so she's talking about like, oh yeah, I've been like with girls, you know, girls, girls, girls. Uh, then, uh, unfortunately, they find the senior book senior yearbook that's what it's called i heard here's something different in britain but in america it's yearbook she she was at the same school as ever as holden same area they knew the same people and so this is like an amazing this is amazing it's quite lovely and so finger cuffs her nickname was finger cuffs bank brings it to Holden. Here, you wanna know why she's called finger cuffs? And then bam, another shot of the guy in front of the, the quick time mark where Clerks was filmed. Here, hey, check this out. Here's an, a fun story about Alyssa uh, getting it on with two dudes, uh, raw dogging from, she was in the middle, and then the guy was in front of her. That's why she's called finger cuffs. I, that's sickening to Holden. Holden is like, ah, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna tell my opinion about this a little bit later until he confronts her in public about it. I do not agree with Holden's method of asking her because he's cagey about it. He's like, you know this guy? She's like, yeah. She's like, well, what did you do with him? And then she's like yelling out like, well, I had sex with him and him and yells, lets everyone know. She 
justifiably was like, hey, you can't, why, why? Why did you have to go about like this? Why did he reveal all those details in public, try to ask her about her sex life in public? But at the same time, she was only telling him that she was with women and like mentioned no, nothing of being with guys. And she was like, oh yeah, I was only with girls. Ugh. And she was also going to be like, hey, I think, like I would have just like told you if you asked. And I mean, I think Holden should have asked, but I also think she would have left those details out. Holden shouldn't have brought it up to her in public like this, and she shouldn't have withheld this information from him. So it's both their faults. So I just, it's like, come on, come on. But anyway, they, they kind of get over it. It's fine. Of course, Holden is, upset with Alyssa, kind of like distances himself from her. Holden has lunch with the good old pals Blunt Man and Chronic uh, to give them money. And we also got Jay and Silent Bob as Blunt Man and Chronic at this lunch. And good old Silent Bob is not so silent. And he's like, hey, let me tell you about Chase and Amy. That's the name. I was like, whoa, that's the name of the movie. Oh my goodness gracious. And he's like, all right, cool. Here's a story about how I was chasing Amy. I really let her go because I was mad at this really petty thing. But like, I realized that I loved her. And by the time that it happened, I was like, oh my goodness gracious, I love her. I love her and she already moved on. And so Holden's like, all right, I gotta hold out for her. I gotta be holding for her, rather. And she's like, all right, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna do it. All right, Holden goes to her, is like, her, come here, come here, come to my place. And then he seats um, Alyssa and good old pal Banky next to each other on the couch. And he has a proposal. How about we have the same thing that he had in high school? How about you're in the middle, he's over here and I'm back here and we have sex. And of course, a Banky's like, uh, okay, sure, sure, that, okay. I'm down to new experiences and uh, not until, <sighs> oh man, Holden is like, I know you have feelings for me. Just, be, just accept it, okay? Just accept the feelings that you have for me. You're clearly jealous of her. That's why you don't want us to be in a relationship with each other. And then he uh, is about to leave and then he kisses them and then pushes them down, which I thought was a super Chad move. I was like, awesome. Man, this is such a good way to stop someone from leaving. It's just like kiss them and then push them back down on the couch. Oh man, I really like that. And then of course he's like, all right, Alyssa, what about you? And she starts crying justifiably. She's like, I'm not that person anymore. I was looking for something special. I really was. I was looking for you. I wasn't looking to be guide to guide me in the middle of two guys, I wasn't looking for that at all. But you just like see me as like an object and then she leaves and it's like the saddest thing ever. And then Banky leaves and well into his room and it's like the saddest thing ever. I'm like, no, I felt the pain. I really felt the pain. I was like, no, I really want, I really want Holden and Alyssa, I really want Holden to hold in Alyssa to, in them together. Man, this is so sad. I'm so distraught. But then, one year later, they see each other again at the same comic convention. And you know what happens? It's pretty rad, is that she has a comic book with the woman. Uh, my, my assumption is that they're together romantically because she's went back to lesbian because she didn't find the right man. Maybe men were mistakes. That's my justification for why she's with a woman. And she sees, oh, guess who's there? Holden is there again. Wow. And they smile at each other. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Ah, yes. Oh my good. Oh, the love is still there. Oh, they really liked talking to each other. I really want them to be, get, to be together. And then Holden leaves and then pan out from the, the all the comics. And it's like, oh, Holden, oh, Alyssa, please be together. Oh man, this is such a beautiful movie. I feel so many heartfelt strings. Also, I should talk about the, the directing of the shots. I really liked the, every, each, 
two characters in one still shot because it reminded me of a play because you got to remember the lines in the same like tone have some tone be like expressed through the one whole memorized thing and it's like seven minutes of just straight dialogue sometimes it's pretty awesome i'm like whoa this is really impressive being able to remember act on time on beat pretty rad and oh man the set's pretty awesome 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 i gotta give this movie a solid 8.9 out of 10. that guy back there probably really liked this content and if you like this content go to patreon.com asc presents for three dollars a month you get some daily vlogs five dollars a month you get some salad dressings where i tr try on close and review them and then twenty dollars a month you get one movie review for one month so go check out patreon.com slash asc presents if you'd like to see some 80 plus adult content go to this link tree it has my fansly and only fans go here you'll really enjoy it until next time i'm in salad sauce see you later my salad croutons and bacon bits and i'll see you later my newest fan